Welcome back you beautiful people. Welcome to my very messy garage. Yes, I have a new garage. I am very excited because this is day one of Blake Builds. His, well I'm gonna build my epic bike cave. Now I've been inspired again. I love getting inspiration from people all around the world in the comments, on Instagram, on YouTube, everywhere. I love it, especially Doddy. Now this is where I've been inspired from is Doddy's bike cave and his GMBN tech show where a lot of you viewers post all your bike cave pictures, ideas. I have my wood. I got some screws. I even bought a new tool. Look, I bought this thing. Say hello to Fergus. I don't know why I just called it Fergus. Anyway, I got this plus I got some goodies from Park Tools that needs to go in somewhere where it belongs. That That's not how you store tools. I need to sort out this whole garage, remove everything out of it. Well, not everything. I'm going to remove all of this, all of that, remove all those shelves off the wall, take my tools outside, start setting up so I can actually start to build my bike cave. This is episode one. We've got a lot more episodes to come, so let me know in the comments down below in this first video of what you would like to see in this bike cave. And also, it pr it'll probably give me some more ideas on what I should do in here. Stick around because this is going to be a fun episode. Blake builds bike cave. Yes! Let's go! Right, let's run time lapse, run some music, time lapse of me just removing everything out of my garage. Three, two, one. completely empty garage where I'm going to be building. So my idea is I want to have a workbench all across there underneath the window, then a little bit along here. So it's basically an owl shape. And then here I want to have a, like a wardrobe for all my riding kit, but that's my dreams. But I sat down and did some homework, did some research. I did some drawings on the computer just to see how much wood I needed, how much, well, how much is going to cost me and where I wanted to have stuff, drawers, cupboards, wardrobes, all that jazz. But yeah, fully, fully emptied my garage. Right, I'm gonna start putting stuff on the wall. So I'm gonna put a brace right across here, a bit of batten, a bit of wood, all the way along here so I can rest the worktop on top of it. And I measured up my kitchen counters and they come to about 90 centimeters high, which is roughly, 36 inches, which which is good because that kind of clears this, which I'm a bit worried about because I thought my worktop was going to be resting on top of my gas mains. And I'm glad it's not. I know the length of my garage, I know the width of my garage, so I'm going to cut a piece of my pe first piece of wood. It's going to be 2 meters 0.6 all the way across here. Put that in and then do this side, do along there so I can miss out the pipes and all that jazz. First bit on the wall. Yes! Now for so much more. Okay, these supports here are not really structural. They're just gonna help me give a guideline to where the the actual worktop's gonna rest on. What the whole structure is going to be based on is this 18 mil ply, which I'm going to cut little sections, which I've measured out to to having one drawer, uh, one cupboard there, drawers in the middle, and then a cupboard on the end, which are all measured up. Which I'm going to start cutting now out of that 18 mil ply, and then start screwing that together. Then I'll slide it in over this, and then 
fix it to those on the back to help it stick to the wall so it doesn't move in and out. All right, 18 mil ply, I'm gonna start cutting. This is hard because I've never done this before. And uh, <laughs> I'm nervous, you know, I'm nervous. Okay, now this is nerve wracking because I don't, I haven't got enough wood if I make a mistake. So mark this up and let's do my first ply cut. <sighs> First one done. Now to cut another three more. Okay, now I've cut my ply. I'm gonna be cutting what they call a kick kickboard. So basically you have a little overhang underneath your cupboard so your toes can get in so you can actually get close to the to the cupboards that will be hanging on the wall, which will be coming in the next video. Now I'm gonna call that 10 mil in from my face because these are gonna be what I'm gonna have as a face on the front to hide this horrible ply here. I'm gonna put that there, measure 10 centimeters in, cut a little cut a little foot bang, about 10 by 10, and then I'm gonna do that on all of them, and then put them in there. Okay, so I've cut these four uprights. They're gonna be stood like this, separating cupboard to drawers to cupboard, so which I need four. This last one's a little bit smaller, only because I had to uh, get around my gas mains, which I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I'm not gonna assemble it on the wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble this first as a unit, and then I'm gonna bolt it to those bits that I've drilled and put onto the wall. That is like a banana. One, two, three, and then four against there. Cupboard, drawers, cupboard, worktop. Yes! Okay, I thought before I start assembling this big unit, like I've said, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build the framework for this one right here. I've got it all lined up on the floor. So I'm gonna make another frame up that goes along here, but I've got to take into consideration the wardrobe I wanna build over here. Now, that is one meter six or 160 centimeters right across, but I wanna take into consideration I want 50 centimeters for my wardrobe, that's the width of the wardrobe I need to make. I need to take into consideration the length I have between the workbench and the back of the door. Why? Because I need to put a motorbike there. This might just be for fixing the bikes. Maybe I need to move the bikes over. But I'm just going along with it. Now I just need to build that frame set over there so I can assemble it all. So run, time lapse of me just cutting loads of wood. Tea break, man. You, you, English people love tea. I love tea, man. So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a quick tea break and a whippy pie. So that there is the wardrobe. Cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. There is dead space in there, but I'll come to that in a bit because I think I've got a good idea to put something in there. Something that's quite loud. Right, finish my tea. Do a bit more screwing around. <laughs> Do some cutting of some ply and then we can get this whole unit basically screwed in. I might take that off the wall. I rushed ahead. Yeah! Time to cut the ply board. I'm gonna cut one, two, and three bits. I only need to cut three bits, but it's proving difficult. So what I'm doing is I'm laying down bits of wolf cuts just like this. And then I'm gonna lay the 
plyboard on the top on the top of it and then hopefully it gives me a nice flat surface to cut a nice straight line because I don't want to mess up. That's not going to cut the ground. Perfect. Right, let's measure. I'm not cutting that way. I'm going to have to cut that way. Oh, balls. I have to cut that way. I've just realized. Damn. One cut, one to go. That actually worked really well. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I've cut the ply for there and here and one there. So I've got all those big ply bits cut. Now I need to cut six of these two by twos to go across from here to the wall where I will be putting a brace on the back of the ply like that so I can drill it to the wall. So. Back to the cutting board. Who uses flat head? Do you know this shelf's probably been here since the house was built? Shafts off the wall. Now I've got my earth cable here that links to that. That's from my circuit board over there. And I have my gas pipe at the bottom. So I need to take that into consideration and cut holes in the appropriate place on my ply board so I don't squish it. Okay, enough cutting. I'm gonna to start to assemble this big unit right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp the wood to the framework I've got my framework over here. I'm gonna start screwing and gluing and leveling it all out and getting it nice and flush. And then, well, we can move on to that one, but it's taken quite a long time to get to here. So, run that time-lapse of me building all this. or one centimeter off that and it is uh, pretty much dead on. I think a little bit more jiggly pokery and uh, should be good. complete and look what I've come up with. Look at that! How cool is that? That's framework to my new bike cave. Now let us know in the comments down below what you want to see next in here because in probably in a few more days like episode number two is going to come out where I'm going to put some doors, some shelves and maybe even the worktop maybe start thinking about putting some units up there. I don't know. Let us know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you like those time lapses of time lapses of me building this. Give us a thumbs up like, and I'll see you next time. Woo-wee! I made so many mistakes, it's unreal. <laughs> <laughs>